Hey guys, welcome back to Can Outdoors. Sorry for this thing being shaky. I'm not using the tripod today. And there's going to be a lot of background noise because there is about a 20 mile an hour wind with some sleet and hail. And it's like 35 degrees outside in western New York. So it's not great conditions, but I'm inside the shop. And today what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, plasti dip the grill, the chrome part and the headlights around um, around the actual light part um, and then do like the angry eyes kind of thing. Uh, but I'm gonna use Plasti Dip just in case it doesn't turn out right or if I don't like it, I can always peel it off. But to start with, I'm gonna take the grill off and to do that, you have to pop off these little pins here Okay, to do that, the way I do it, I just use a flathead screwdriver. Just get in underneath it, turn the screwdriver, and you pop it up like this. And I always pull this part out. And then you got to get underneath it to get this part out as well. And try not to lose it, but I'm lucky. So that's all you do to get those off. There is a little tool that's got like two little uh, prongs on it that makes it easier, I guess, but I've always just used a screwdriver. Um, there's one missing there, but that's okay. It's okay to have one missing or even a couple missing as long as you got the majority of them. But there's one, two, three, four, five, six up top. These things right here do not have to come off, and it's best if you don't remove them because um, it's hard to tell how tight they were because your hood actually bumps into those to keep it, um, to let it only go down so far. So if you take them off, you have to unscrew them, and then it's hard to remember exactly where they are, and you gotta mess with the hood, so. But they don't have to come off, luckily. This little uh, cable here, this was inside these slots and that's for your hood release latch <clears throat> but I've already popped that out so take those off and then on each corner you're gonna have one of these deals push it down push it down and it pulls out and I think if I remember correctly I think there's one somewhere around the outer edge of the headlight I think but I'm not a hundred percent sure um, and then you've got two more of these. I've already popped them out. One there and one there. So that's, that's all there is to it. And then this whole thing just pops off. Um, I'm going to do it that way rather than do it on the vehicle because I don't really want to get any, anything on that radiator. That's a brand new radiator. I don't want to get any, uh, Plasti Dip on that. So... Um, let me pop this off. I'm going to take it over on the saw horses and get the Plasti Dip all mixed up and ready and get to painting. Okay guys, I'm back. I got the grill and the headlights out. It took about 10 minutes. Wasn't bad at all. There was three screws in each headlight and then you of course unhook the bulbs themselves and bring the whole light fixture out. Um, and the grill, it had one of these on each side, just like I thought. They were kind of a pain in the butt. I kind of had to wiggle them and get a screwdriver in behind and pull out while I removed the grill. But I got them off, so grill is here, headlights are here. We're going to mask um, the light part of the light fixtures. And we're going to use some uh, masking paper, some masking tape. We're going to wear an N95 vented re respirator and some latex gloves just to be on the safe side. So I'm going to go get the Plasti Dip, get it mixed up, and get my little uh, spray nozzle thing for the spray paint cans. That way I'm not wearing out my fingers. And I'll be right back. Okay guys, I figured I'd go ahead and get back to you on this. That way you guys know how I'm doing this. 
So basically what I needed to do was make a stencil that I could use. I'm putting masking tape all the way around a little bit outside of where I want it. Then I'm going to put the stencil on and then I'm going to take a sharp knife and I'm going to cut around the stencil and peel off the tape and mask all of this with tape as well. So anything that I don't want painted will have masking tape on it. So the stencil, once it's done, will fit over the bright and dim headlights. So basically all I did was take a little tape measure, a little bitty one, you can use a big one if you want, and I made a measurement from one side to the other and it was seven and I think three quarters, seven and three quarters across the diameter. Um, the bottom one was I think four and an eighth or something like that but it just so happened that what was left on my masking tape roll was the perfect size for it. So I just took that put it on a piece of cardboard, traced around it a little ways, cut some of it, then I set this on this other headlight here, folded these tabs up to make sure that it was right, and it was, and then I measured the distance between the center of that bulb to the center of that bulb, and made me some marks here, and now I gotta do the uh, circumference of the big light before I start cutting any further there. So how I'm going to do that is I measured the diameter, like I said, seven and three quarters. Half of that is, um, what was it, uh, three and seven eighths, I think, is what I came up with. Anyway, so I'm going to use a piece of cardboard here and a screw. I put the screw in it and then I measured from the screw and put a hole where my pencil is going to poke through. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this screw in the center of where the center of that bulb is, put my pencil in here, and then it's going to trace a circle around, and then I can cut that out and I've got my stencil. That's how I'm doing that. I just wanted to show you guys that way, in case you didn't know the, the quickest, easiest, and cheapest way to do that, to make a circle is to use a piece of cardboard and a screw or a nail and poke a hole for your pencil, stick your pencil through there, make sure that that is in the center, jam it all the way through so it doesn't move, and then you're just gonna make a circle. That's how I do it, um, but that's how I'm gonna make sure that they're perfect before I mask anything else. Okay, so that's what that looks like after you trace around it. I had to fold these back down so I could get it to go past there, but I put my screw through the center and I went around and made a perfect circle. Now I'm going to cut up to this little union here and then I'm going to cut around so that I got my two circles together because if you look that would overlap you know so the circles are connected. Once I get that cut out and I get all of this masked then I can put my stencil on there make sure it's lined up perfectly then I can take a sharp knife, go around it, and peel off the tape from the outside so that I have a nice perfect circle. And then all I gotta do is spray it, peel off the masking tape, and it's done. Well, I mean it's gonna need several coats, but <laughs> you get the gist. Okay, so this is what it looks like all masked off. So the bottom light and the top light are going to be um, visible obviously so all I did was put the stencil on there it took a minute to line it up right and it might not be perfect and I think it's because of the it's kind of bubbled out a little bit the headlight bulb is or the lens okay so I got the first coat on it's a very light coat it's kind of tacky that's what you want on your first coat you don't want it to be real thick Just a nice even coat. Now I'm going to give this a good long while to dry before I come back and do the second coat. Okay guys, I'm back. So, I put I put three coats of uh, Plasti Dip on the grill and the headlights 
and this is the final result I think it looks good I'm sorry for all the noise it's still uh, it's not really hail it's more like sleet outside so and I'm inside of a metal building so it doesn't sound that great but I mean this looks pretty darn good I think I mean That's my first time working with Plasti Dip. I spray painted a lot of stuff, so it wasn't wasn't too different. I might make it a little thicker in that spot just in the future, but you can see I ripped a little bit of the Plasti Dip. It's not perfect here and there. I think that spot, and well, that's a little rough around the edges, but it's not too bad. And it actually sticks back down if you push on it. But yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Just looks so good. Well, stay tuned in the future, guys. I'm going to be doing some more Plasti Dipping. I bought six cans. That took one can to do three uh, coats on that. One thin coat, one coat that was a little thick, and then the last coat I kind of put it on thick. So that's how I did that. Light, medium, and thick. That's how I did it. So the next thing I'm going to be Plasti Dipping is going to be, sorry about the oil spot on the floor, the chrome on the sides. I'm going to be Plasti Dipping those. I bought enough to do the wheels as well. I'm going to be doing that in the future. That'll be a little bit later on um, because this is my daily driver and I think that's going to take at least a whole day to do all four rims. But Anyway guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to be doing a lot more cool stuff to this Jeep. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.